finally come. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's the continuation Damn, look of... look at that Zaza Cloud. The, the Zaza Cloud? Maybe we'll continue the plot here on Let's Plop. I am Nico the with Zaza... Waldar. The Zaza hits this place so hard they built a whole house on it. <laughs> look, this is one of the benefits, a floating pad. <laughs> Why does it have to be an ancient place? I don't know. Look, you're trade. I am an old man with ancient powers, so I belong in an ancient home. The Solstice Warriors can be an ancient tradition, but why does the teaching place have to be ancient? Why is it always ancient? Why can't it be modern? Why can't I have a vagina? <laughs> What's wrong with just having a new place for once? I don't know. It could have been in their basement for all we know. Oh my god, we're going up again? That's just the first floor. <laughs> or second floor. You will now stay here, Gandalf. Until I see need of you again. What the fuck? Where are we going? This is where I rape all the boys. Are you seriously putting the kids on top of a fucking Isengard tower? <laughs> Take it, the hobbits to Isengard. Isengard. This is the classroom in the sky. Well, no shit. This place is so ancient, we didn't feel like building walls or ceilings. <laughs> Whoa, it's beautiful! <laughs> Uh, if this is the classroom, where are the desks? We couldn't afford them. You are the desk, kid. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. In innate magic. <laughs> it shows. They say it in a specific way because it's highlighted. Oh, right, right, all right. I'll remember that. And Zero too, from what Erlina told me. Uh, it was just a small burst. It's just a small. <laughs> oh, I'm reflecting. Oh. <laughs> oh, they have no idea how main character they are. Oh. I'm showing you how sensitive it is. <laughs> yeah. There's probably for the best. Now, in the many I... years you were spent at the Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice. If, if he had excluded those two lines of his inner monologue, I think the story would have been better already. <laughs> yeah. We okay. don't need you to tell us that they're full of potential. They're main uh, characters. What else are we gonna be for? I think you guys can't do shit, so I'm killing you if... off. If anything, it would be an interesting subversion of expectations if they assumed, they made you assume that they're gonna be full of potential and then they just died off some time ago. <laughs> oh, or sometime later, I should say. I'm learning how to, that I need to sew sacred fabric. If anything, I think it would be fascinating writing if they made that uh, wimpy fat kid into the main character. <laughs> yeah, not human. Well, here it is. <laughs> Once your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very magic start. Magic piece of fabric! <laughs> 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 Ooh, a shamwell cloth, my favorite. <laughs> the Elder Puff. <laughs> and there he goes, poof, poof. Ah, so this is just like uh, actual school. They teach you nothing useful. Yeah, the school systems are broken! No wonder you don't get any funding, nerds. Who the fuck needs to learn how to sew? Apparently it's to I... make their special outfits to block against monsters. I'm well, gonna I... bring you a piece of fucking magic tree bark like in Oblivion. You make me a staff and I go kill Manny Marco or whatever. Ooh, I do like... <laughs> I just like the... Have you brought the Diedrich relic? That's funny. To your left is the this, training room. You should have said inspired by Oblivion. I'm getting more Oblivion vibes out of this. <laughs> hey, Starfield spot is inspired by Oblivion because they have like the tedious main quest line where you got to go through like eight Oblivion gates, except it's called something oh, else yeah. in Starfield. And, and the adoring fan of Fall of her as well. Yeah, you know what? You see, this is what I hate. You remember when Xbox uh, Series X was coming out and everybody was saying it looks like a fridge? Like that was the meme, right? Had a fridge. 
<laughs> yeah, well, that's the problem. The meme was that it looks like a fucking fridge, and then everyone, they thought it was like, oh, we get it now, let's make an actual fridge. And, it's just, and as soon as you kind of, like, play against the meme and you try to go along with it or something, it just ruins it. Same thing with the adoring fan. It's like, it was a meme in Oblivion. Like, we don't want it back. Like, this is why Oblivion was special, because of this... Uh, I hate asshole. to interrupt your spiel, but you can play the game now. It's <laughs> alright. The spiel is over. <laughs> We're in Scala's Palace! Don't say that. You know this isn't true. Vale, you wanna give me a lap dance? Oh, we're not ready for that yet! You know this isn't the enchanted kingdom of Zeal. Oh, that, can't, that kingdom is depressing. I gotta say, the first time around, I it really felt enchanted. Oh, it is? They got the feel for it really good. It's a place out of time, out of space. It doesn't belong there. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. They want to explore. Let's find my bed. Wait, what? You get two beds? Why do you have two beds? Three beds? Four? Four? <laughs> Spoiled brat? Oh my god. Six? Looks like I'm not sleeping anywhere. Fuck you, Zale. Why is that even a thing? Who cares? Oh, is this my bed? Oh, there we go. Good night. So each oh, one of us gets. Oh, not allowed to sleep in this bed because it has yellow bed sheets. Wait, is that really what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Like, who cares? It's a fucking bed. There's no need for this. Hello, Sonic. <sighs> Waldar, <laughs> I don't like what they've done to the beginning of this game already. Why are you gonna have us go through that little segment of us in the future or in the present? This is just like the demo. I'm kind of surprised that the demo was actually accurate to how the game plays. Well, it's it's not even that. It's like, what was the point of me doing that beginning stuff, picking where I wanted to go, doing a little tutorial, when I'm just getting Why not just a start huge here? Yeah, I know. I don't like. What was the point of that? This is a big tutorial in itself. There's no fucking point. Yay! Oh boy. It's like, if you started up Chrono Trigger, you started from... What was it, 2300 AD? Mm-hmm. You start from there, you find Robo, and then Robo's like, Hey guys, remember when we met up at the Millennial Fair? Ah, yes, good times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's it. <laughs> and then, like five hours later, you come back to the 2300 AD. All right, we should probably go kill Lawas now. Who? Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are we... Who? Oh, nothing? <laughs> wow, look at this. The final countdown montage. Can we play the game? <laughs> <sighs> hey, I... I do push-ups like that, too, where I'm just doing the worm. Inspired by Chrono Trigger, where we do nothing of the sort like we would in Chrono Trigger. No. This is why I don't take that sentence seriously. It always feels like they don't know what exactly they are inspired by. They just say it because it looks similar. Yeah. They're probably inspired by the art style and nothing else. Yeah, see, this looks really nice. I like the way this looks. This is good. Graphically, this is a good looking game. There's no fault so far. Sorry. I mean, besides the graphics and I guess the music's okay as well. It doesn't sound like particularly interesting so far. Well, we gotta so find it. This game is. Yeah. This game is. Did I say it? <laughs> kind of mid. Mid. Oh god. <laughs> sea of mid. Mid of stars. I think it's working! Honestly, we don't need to see any of this. Just give us a montage and that's it. I think we're full of midichlorians. Oh god. <laughs> Qui-Gon, is that you? Uh, who's Qui-Gon? Try to release when you feel its current passing in front of you. Oh, I'll release on you, alright? You did it. Let me wipe this off. Can we play the game? I know. <laughs> I hate these kind of games. That's that's why I got blown the fuck away by the demo. It's always this. 
You're just talking with people, watching cutscenes. I know. You I... know what I like about games? When playing you play them. them. I know. Dude, Sweet Code in 4, <laughs> I, I would already be fighting. And that's budget Sweet Code in. <laughs> well, in Sweet Code in 4, you'd be fighting the <laughs> nautical miles of hitbox. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm doing something, right? Like, what the fuck? I'm just doing dialogue. Yeah, that hitbox is so funny. Now he's talking about the sewing kit? Like, do you get to play that part, or...? No, of course not. Making a magic piece of shit worthy of the very shitty star sure is a shit order. Why even highlight the sewing kit as if it's some kind of an important element? You can't even interact with it so far. Does that become an interactable thing? Do you get to make your own armor later on? That would be sweet. I don't... maybe, I don't know. I hear that this would be nice. I read that this game doesn't dig too deep with its systems, unfortunately. So far, it doesn't seem to be digging deep into gameplay. <laughs> Just a bunch of old cooks. Old nooks. <laughs> uh, well, I'm bored. I'm gonna go to sleep. Nope, can't. Check on the beds on the other side. I want to see if they're actually yellow bedsheets. Because <laughs> here we have blue bedsheets. And yep. on the right hand... Here we have blue. And on the right we have... Oh, well, it's I see. red bed sheets, but yeah, that that's all it was. It's just a red bed sheet. You're not allowed to sleep on a red bed sheet. Red bed sheets are for boys only. I really come all over the bed. So too bad. <laughs> Perfect. I'll lay in your you're gonna, cup. You're gonna leave coonies all over my red bed sheet. You're gonna leave me coonies on my face. Ooh. Uh oh, exposition dump. Oh, thank you for dropping these uh, names of things we will totally get to see in like 500 years. <laughs> Hello, Sonic. Sonic's like spin dashing. Whoa! I'm Every with Knuckles. Every time I see him, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> this is Knuckles and Sonic. And this is Eggman, if he was not white. Headmaster pretends to be smart, but really he's just an obnoxious douchebag so far. So, how much is enough? What about Moi Raira and the, about the twins? What? Look, he's constipated. <laughs> Don't talk to him about the twin towers like that. <laughs> <laughs> he still they, remembers. They had to edit Spider-Man 2. Don't you remind me. Talk about the twins. Train is completely able to join us for the cleansing. Oh my god, they're gross, Grandpa. Yeah, I'm sure the cleansing will be just as important as the sewing kit. That's why you highlighted it. I hope to get a cleansing kit. <laughs> I'm old, so I will stand here and never move. How is it windy indoors? <laughs> I guess because we can't tell that it's just <laughs> one giant opening to get out. I don't know. Oh, nice. A, a text box saying, we did these things for days. I'm still terrible at push-ups. You know what Chrono Trigger did very nicely as a way of telling you that maybe you have been training a whole lot? They had that robot you could beat up. You could get XP out of him. You can get XP and you get money and you can buy a really good sword. Which you find, like, three copies of for free later on. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just find that funny. Sometimes they have that in JRPGs. I don't know, it's just cool that you can just do all that stuff at the fair. Now he's talking about some dweller? Like, oh, hello, welcome to middle of conversation, the world leader, the dweller. The sleeper has awakened! <laughs> <laughs> Why are there so many things we're learning? We're only like five years old! For, for how long this cutscene has been going, we haven't really learned anything. The Dweller, the World Eater, the Solstice... There's a whole bunch of things going on, but no things are explained. I'm kind of hoping... Maybe they have a glossary or a bestiary where we can look up stuff. That's a cop out. <laughs> I shouldn't have to read a fucking library book to learn what the hell is going on in the world. Right? And it's just like a failsafe. You're like, what the fuck did I just listen to? At the same time, I shouldn't have to have a... Someone just lore dumping. Kind of like this guy seems to be doing. Just very poorly. It would be enough to just 
have someone randomly say, oh, well, I heard this guy is kind of a bastard. Well, and then you can work from there. You know what Pillars of Eternity does? When they have dialogue, you can highlight over the, the special words and it'll give you a brief rundown of what the fuck they're talking about. Because there's so much lore being talked about and, and like ancient gods and people and whatever. Th this game could maybe have used that where you could just like, oh, so that's what the Dweller is. Well, again, Chrono Trigger did this better by just giving you like normal people conversations about topics that are happening in the world right now. Exactly. Like well, it was all about it, yeah. Like how we talk about Magus every now and Magus. then. Oh, I remember that guy. He got defeated six hundred years ago. And guess what? All of it's circumstantial uh, conversation. Yeah, and, and someone then later on mentions, "Yeah, I know that guy," or something like that. Uh, he used to be like the leader of the monsters or whatever. Yeah, the Fiend Lord. He's awesome. Inspired by Chrono Trigger. <laughs> yeah. This has to be like an ironic statement at this point. Where's the inspiration exactly? The moronic? A moronic statement? I don't know. This... What? You're playing? <laughs> like, not really. I'm just moving. <laughs> oh, gameplay! <laughs> oh my god. Like, I was actually having a better time in that one little prologue segment where we were actually fighting. Yeah, in that sense, the demo is actually very accurate, and I'm shocked. There's a note. It says, the game gets good after 20 hours. <laughs> oh, this guy again. Look, we forgot about you already. Please go away. I like how it's showing him writing. We don't need a portrait of him writing the letter. We're reading the letter! It just has to show his face and the name. That's it. That's how, how little faith they have in him being remembered. <laughs> God, I've never seen that's that. Probably why they, that's probably why they had him say, please don't forget me. Dwaldor, I've never seen this in a JRPG before, where they put a guy's portrait of him writing a letter. That's so weird. Why don't they just show well, a cutscene of him writing the letter, then? It, it's not the first time these devs did it. They've done the same exact thing with that skeleton necromancer in the messenger. Oh... I guess it's just continuity at this point. Once I could say it's a neat quirk, but twice? It seems odd. Especially this early. Yeah. At least in, in the case of that necromancer guy, it made sense for him to be seen that way because... Contextually, it's been a long time since he's seen him. <laughs> Not just in, in terms of the story, but in terms of playing through the game as well. It's been a long time since he's seen him. This is so why you may forget what he what what that guy is supposed to be anyway. Yeah. He's been here like ten minutes ago. <laughs> you know, this is, and, and we're gonna be bringing this up all the time. I mean, it's not just Chrono Trigger, but just I like when you just have games that just go. You you like hear a couple lines of dialogue and that's it, and then you just go, then you just fucking go. There are places for more extensive dialogue, but this. This whole section, what was the purpose of it exactly? It's exposition dump. That's exactly what it is, this whole beginning part. It's so fucking... Like, sure, earlier we complained that there wasn't an introduction to these two characters, but now that we have it, it's like a monkey's paw. We got what we wanted, but we didn't account for the consequences. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing... Oh, we get to see them grow up. Maybe they should have done this to begin with. And they sold some more, cause we totally need to know that. <laughs> they sold some more and then they made out. A lot. Like, a lot. They're still here? <laughs> Zale, that's the one. What is it? Uh, underwear. What'd she do? Let's go see the headmaster. What they made? They made a scarf. <laughs> see, I, I like the running animation for Valer. It's cute. So they made scarves for like 500 years or however long it took them to make this. They sewed a scarf. They put it in their belt. It's it's their it, uh, cella cella. Uh, what is it? Their straight edge scarf. They can't have sex or anything or do drugs. <laughs> 
Look, Headmaster, we are celibates! Congratulations. <laughs> You're just like me now. No! You know what I've been... You know what? I hope something happens to the school where it gets taken out by monsters, because then I'd actually care. One more challenge for us? What is it? Surviving another expo dump? Hey, Sonic! You look like you haven't aged a bit! Thanks, it's the chili dog sauce! <laughs> Gross! Fuck off! Review the basis of review. combat! I already know how to do this! <laughs> we already did this! Uh. To an extent. Not the whole basic, sure, but there was something. Oh my god. Inspired by Chrono Trigger. Inspired by nothing. <laughs> Yay, look, something I already did. Hooray. Like, do you have something important to teach? Because we've known about the basics of JRPG combat, turn-based combat, no less, since the SNES was a thing. Since the NES was a thing. Since my fucking diapers were a thing. Oh my god. Nope. At the if time their intention hit. was to have this act as a gateway for new players, new in the genre, then it's not doing a good job. It's gonna put off most people from RPGs. Well, these guys, this is their first one, so I'm sure they're gonna learn a lot of lessons. Remember to think one. of timed hits as a welcome addition? Timed hits? Yeah, it was what just... about timed hits? I just have to hit X right before I hit the guy. I do more damage. Oh. Inspired by Paper Mario. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, there's Lavos. I can block too. Wow. This is Paper Mario. Wow. <laughs> Paper Mario is better die than this. Here? No. Oh, no, you, you can't die. They heal you. They wouldn't dare let me die in the really fun tutorial. Oh, cool. 999 damage. <laughs> we'll get back up on the road at 50% once all the KO stars are gone. Okay. Ah, so if you survive long enough, he'll just get revived on his own. Okay. That's not a bad idea. It'll save you on some money management. Ow! Pretty much. Hey, I could have learned this, you know, when we're actually playing the game. Not a fucking flashback. You know, they could have gotten this explained in, uh, two minutes. <laughs> I know! Here I am, you're training here, and learn this! Montage! Okay, now we're here. Uh, wait, I think I know what's wrong. They didn't have the goblins from Chrono Trigger. They couldn't hire them. That's a problem. Alright, the basics of magic. Magic trigger. Magic miss you. <laughs> magic miss you. Ah, here we go, the roulette wheel. Please explain. Yeah, seriously. Okay, so do you have something like a weakness bar? Kind of like from uh, Octopath Traveler? Hmm. So I, I did I, something? I guess I have to build it up first once I get that sh perfect strikes down or something. Press X to be perfect. I did it! <laughs> I did terrible. Hold X for power. Cheeto ball! Go! <laughs> Take that, Chester! You can sense your MP is low. Cool. Do the normal attack. Oh, it regenerates with a normal attack? Probably because okay. they, they didn't have the budget for items. <laughs> we, we couldn't afford the elixir, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, this is a poor ass academy. Inspired by Chrono Trigger, except the parts that make sense. <laughs> uh, combo time. Oh. Nice. Okay, so they have some kind of a backwards system of combos for from Chrono, not Chrono, <laughs> from Octopath Traveler. <laughs> I oh, it's backwards, all right. Hey, the big day is finally come. You're gonna push me off the edge so I can die. Cause you it's get backwards your game. in the sense that in Octopath you just get combo points per turn, 
as long as you don't use them. Here it seems like you get them build up from attacks. But you still use them up the same way as an Octopath. I want to use that on the old man. <laughs> Can I just Fusro the other guy? <laughs> yeah, I want you to practice your shouting. Not now! <laughs> yeah, you'll practice some shouting, alright? Shove. <laughs> I'm gonna practice some downvoting, downvote. Welcome, Battle Skunk and Pussy Dancer. <laughs> Battle Monk? Isn't that wow. just a monk? <laughs> how how inspired we are today. <laughs> Look, the Instead list of goes regular even monk, we have battle monk. Wow. I got tomato clubs! I don't know what that is. What, the sandwich? Oh, maybe it is the sandwich. Old man makes a Wait. good sandwich. Hold on. Bye. Did he steal Did he steal the kid's sandwich from the fucking jar? <laughs> it's my sandwich! Mine! Why'd they jump down? Why not use the lift? Because I'm going through a dungeon and it's supposed to be cool. Oh shit, do you actually get to play the game? <laughs> wow. wow! It only took us how long? <laughs> I'm still gay! My goodness, this really was a long tutorial. Long and poorly winded. I feel hey. tired just from sitting here. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> well, you know what they say... Uh, all toasters toast toast. All toasters go to heaven. <laughs> ah, well, you know, especially when you put them in the bathtub. <laughs> this one's going to hell, you piece of shit. I'm blocking. Wow, good thing that tutorial told me how to do things that I can figure out on my own. Who brought the fucking fiends? I wish oh, I wait a minute. It. I get it now. Inspired by Chrono Trigger. They got the enemy from Chrono Trigger to come here, huh? I fucking oh. knew it. Too bad he doesn't explode like a volcano when you hear him. Gonna explode! Sorry. Where are you going? <laughs> I was seeing if there's anything back there, like, you know. I wanna find more things to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanna stay in the tutorial universe. I like the music though. It sounds a bit clownish. Like me. I'm a bit clownish. I'm not terribly impressive with music so far. It's kind of basic. Bad <laughs> basic. Here I go. Here I go. Did, Here I go. Did that actually do anything? It will. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! THAT'S ALL IT DID?! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! <laughs> THE FUCK?! WHY DO I EVEN WASTE MY TIME FOR THAT?! Sorry. Inspired oh. by... <laughs> oh my god! Just don't even let me do uh, anything! Just, just do it lame. for me at that point. Just do a normal attack. Yeah, what the fuck? That's so lame, Look, I felt like you a... You did the same amount of damage with a normal swing! <laughs> I, oh god, I felt like a badass doing it for so long, and then nope. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill you, Zale! <laughs> I'm gonna shove these tomato clubs up your ass! <laughs> <laughs> was right that now. sandwich tied together with a rope? What, what was that icon? Oh, I think it was a fork or something. Oh. I wanna see... It is tied together. <laughs> oh, it, oh, oh, the picture. I was even looking at the picture. That's it's funny. taped and tied together. <laughs> wow, everything's so balanced. Thanks, old man. They should make sandwiches like this wider, not taller. Like my wife. Hey, look, it's Sonic and Knuckles. Hello, hello Sonic. <laughs> no, it's Sonic and Amy. Oh. <laughs> God damn it! You're right! <laughs> Let's see them off. Have a crystal then. embedded in your forehead. Are you trying to look mystical? You look like a dork. Hey, remember that little animated cutscene we saw? I don't. Uh, I selectively blocked out all cutscenes in this area because we've seen too many. Oh look, it's the boss from it's Gato. Hey, I'm Gato. I have metal joints. <laughs> Inspired by Chrono. 
Shuffle weakness, weakness. <laughs> nice try. Weakness to what? To my cock. <laughs> I'm trying to block the whole time. Shuffle weakness, son. Well, I'm not son, so too bad. But the other guy. I wonder what the timer on the enemies is for. I think that's when they go. They're like, oh, I have two turns till I go. It's not... It doesn't feel any different than just having a normal turn counter. No. It sure doesn't. It's just like an extra step to a mage old system. Wow, we are so inspired. <laughs> that's gonna you know be what? one of the quotes for this episode, we are so inspired. You know what would be more inspiring? Reworking the active battle timer from Chrono Trigger? Boom, Daniel. Boom, Daniel. You know, just, just letting him attack whenever he is ready instead of whatever the hell this is. Like, what's gonna happen if you hit him with a sword now? He's dead. Oh, besides dying. We did it! So we'll see you on the next one! Fuck all you! Fuck, fuck. Inspired by God of Hell. <laughs> Inspired by God Hand! Fuck me! Bye!